The other day I needed to bend some stainless steel tubing. So I pulled out my old Imperial 600F tubing bender and proceeded to make a bend. It's pretty easy to set up. Clamp it in a sturdy vise and you're almost ready to go. Remove the retainer nut and install the handle. I'm bending 3 8 035 annealed stainless steel tubing. The bend radius is one and one quarter inches and the uh, die installs atop the worm gear uh, by removing the bolt and then uh, lining it with the key. Now we're ready to start bending. Slide the tube into the die, retain it at your desired location with the retainer and with your follower bar Slide it in between the tube and the pinch roller, lining up the zero mark with the zero on the die. The marks on the die help you to know when you've hit your target angle, whether it be 45 degrees, 90, or 180 degrees. The bender allows you to make bends up to 180 degrees effortlessly. A simple crank of the handle a few times and your bend is complete. I've never counted how many cranks it takes, uh, but it's pretty easy. Once the bend is completed, you can remove it from the bender and inspect it. Of course, it's out of frame. After making a few test bends, I decided the inch and a quarter radius was simply too large. I went over to the website to see if I could purchase a die in a smaller radius. Unfortunately, I couldn't. At this point, I thought about just picking up a simple hand bender. Uh, they're readily available and fairly inexpensive, and they do a 15 16 radius. But truth be told, I just couldn't bring myself to buying another bender when I already have a very nice bender on hand. So I figured I would just manufacture my own die. I started out in Fusion 360 and designed a 15 16 die to fit the existing Imperial bender. This bender will give me 15 sixteenths uh, radius and, interestingly enough, the hook from the existing inch and a quarter die lands perfectly in the center. How about that? The first operation is fairly straightforward. Face off the part, rough down the OD, finish it, and then put in the groove. At the end of the first operation, this is what the part looks like. The second operation is fairly straightforward. Simply remove all the extra stock. Face off the part and then bore it out to the correct dimension. Second operation turned out well. Moved over to the mill, prepared some soft jaws in preparation for the first operation on the mill, which was to machine the flat on the face of the part. Second milling operation involved putting the slot on the bottom for the drive dog centered it up on the mill and then cut the slot went very easily moved over to the mill to uh, drill and tap for the quarter 28 hole that's required to hold the retaining latch on the uh, dock by this time i just couldn't wait to try it out so i went over and uh, made a 180 degree bend and then made a 90 and you can see compared to the old one that it turned out very nicely.